Would you get back with your partner if they cheated? Well, I already did. So, white lies are okay in a relationship. Ooh. Really? It's okay to ask your partner to shave. Leah, your breath smells! Calm down. I feel like in this YouTube video, I've been completely violated. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're playing Agree to Disagree, Couples Edition. So, oh, this is going to be interesting. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first one is White Lies Are Okay in a Relationship. Ooh. Really? No, I don't think it's okay at all. So let me give you an example of a white lie. Me saying I've tidied up the whole house when I haven't, and you think that is really, really bad. No, I don't think it's really bad. I just feel like lying can lead to more lies. Like if you lie about something, in, especially in a relationship, it can lead to more lies, and then it like the lie just snowballs into this big lie, and I don't know, I just feel like it's wrong. But I feel like it's so normal in a relationship or like mm. in any relationship with anyone to do some small white lies. Not like always, but mm. no one's perfect. I don't feel like a person is completely honest all the time. I get what you mean. But I just feel like even if like we do do white lies, I feel like it's still probably not the best thing. Right? I feel like it's still a disagree. Yeah, fair point. Oh my gosh. Myself. Would you get back with your partner if they cheated? Well, I already did, so... <laughs> Can you just clear this up? I feel like this has been brewing in our relationship for like the last eight years. Can you just tell the camera what happened and you guys oh. can decide if I ever cheated because I would never cheat. Okay, all right, so Leah didn't cheat, basically. Like, she didn't do anything technically wrong, but there was a time early on, like maybe a year into our relationship, where she found in her wardrobe a bracelet that she was going to give as a present to her ex. No, wrong. What was it then? Yeah, you were going to give it to him as a present, and then no. she's... No. What? I already gave the present, it was already his, but then I took it back to get it re-measured because it was too big. Okay. So it was already this person's, it, it wasn't like a new present, All it right. was already this person's present. So Leah then calls me or texts me and she's like, I've just found Blah Blah's bracelet in my wardrobe, I'm going to message him and give it back to him. So I said, I don't feel comfortable with this and then um, she did it anyway. So to me, me that, that was like, not cheating, but that was crossing the line. <laughs> it wasn't mine, I already did give this person the thing, it was not mine and also I was only trying to be nice. I know, but I feel like if but I, I understand. Because I've always looking that I back, didn't feel comfortable, you shouldn't have done it. Okay, but looking back, that was really bad. Yeah, but I mean, but yeah, it was a long time, time ago, so strongly disagree. It's okay to ask your partner to shave. Ooh. <sighs> I can't reach it. Yes, I'm so pleased you don't strongly disagree. I feel like your body, your choice, if your mm. partner doesn't like you a certain way, well then go away. Yeah. You don't deserve me. I agree, I agree. It's your body, your choice. If your yeah. partner wants you to shave, that's their problem. I mean, they should love you for who you are. Yeah. I actually saw someone recently say that they shave, like they shave on their partner's preference. Like if their partner wants them to shave, they will oh, shave. And I was sad. like, well, it, in their relationship it works, they said, but I feel like yeah. I can If Leah said to me, may you shave, I'd probably be like, I'd feel really self-conscious. I'd be yeah. like, oh god, she's like really not attracted to me. I literally went through a stage of not shaving for months, and I'd be in the bath and I'd be like, come here, look, Caitlin, like, look how much hair I've got. Yeah, like, it was right. kind of like a joke at the end, wasn't Yeah, it? because I just, like, do you know what? It's your body, your choice. Strongly disagree. And if you strongly mm. agree, then, I don't know. I feel like that's an ick. Yeah, that is a bit of an ick. You're allowed to dislike your partner's best friend. Before I pick these things, I feel like it depends on the situation. So let's do a situation. Okay. The situation is you just literally don't like them. You don't like their vibe. What, like they just haven't, they haven't done anything specifically wrong. You just yeah. don't like them. Yeah. Okay. And, <laughs> and. Yeah. You don't want your partner to be best friends with that person anymore. Oh, but see, that really sways my choice. Yeah, exactly. I was going to agree. Yeah. But as soon as you said that, I was going to mm. disagree. 
So I'm gonna say disagree if you're mm -hmm. telling them they can't be friends with them because I feel like you yeah. shouldn't dictate who your partner's friend is exactly. with. Especially if they've been best friends, like they might have been best friends their whole exactly. life and then you've come into their life and said that. But like I feel like it's okay to not like your partner's best yeah. friend. You can't force yourself to like people. No. I feel disagree, definitely. But I feel like you could always put boundaries in place. You can be like, look, you, you guys be best friends, it's fine. But like, mm. would you mind if maybe I'm not included? Like, maybe I'll stay at home and you go out together. You should tell your partner if they have like bad breath or like smell a bit under their armpits or something. Like if you're going out somewhere, you should tell them. Oh, it's so in sync. I feel like as long as you do it discreetly, not in front of everyone, be yeah. like, Leah, your breath smells! <laughs> and then I feel like it's fine because I would actually rather you tell me because if mm. anyone's gonna tell me, I'd rather it be you. Yeah, same. I would rather, I'd rather know, like in any circumstances, if my yeah. breath smells, I'd rather just know. Yeah. <laughs> Should I say the story about what happened recently? Go on then. <laughs> so there was a day recently where um, <laughs> Leah had a bogey on her nose and I was just asked to at home. And like, obviously I know she's not gonna walk around with a bogey, so I'm like, oh, you got a bogey. And then there was like another instance in the day where I think she had something on her top and I told her, and she was like, you're making me feel really self-conscious. So I was like, okay, I won't tell you, I'm sorry. Um, and then funnily enough, later that <sighs> evening, oh, you must have had a cold, we mm. went to a midwife appointment and she had a bogey and I was like, she doesn't want me to tell her, so I just left it. And I, was I like, feel like, I feel like, <laughs> yeah, I would rather you tell me, but mm. that specific day, I I have like body dysmorphic disorder, mm. so, I can get days where I'm struggling more than usual. So I guess on that day, I was extra sensitive to my appearance and to mm. everything. So that day, yeah, I was a bit silly, but in reality, I would rather you tell me. How did you feel when I didn't tell you that you had a bogey at the midwife? Because I can't remember your reaction. Just got over it, really. She was like, yeah. whatever. She's a lovely midwife, I'm sure she won't judge. <laughs> <laughs> the next one, it's okay for you and your partner to share toiletries. So for instance, what? Toiletries. So like your toothbrush and like <laughs> shavers or your drinks, like stuff like that, it's okay to share. Do you know what I thought you meant? Like share tampons. And I was like, use, surely not used tampons. No. <laughs> so to be specific, toothbrush, cups, knife and forks, like just knife that sort fork. of thing. Okay, knife and fork is a bit of a okay. syndrome. Right. Let's start toothbrush. Again. It's okay for you and your partner to share toothbrushes. That gives me the biggest <laughs> That gives me the biggest it. I'm your wife. You kiss me. I am not. It makes me feel dirty. Ooh. Even like with cups. If I was to drink this cup, watch. No, no, I'm not testing this on this. Do you want some? No, thanks. She would never drink from the same cup. See, as me. I would, but I literally have OCD. I, I wouldn't be able to do it. Like. I know. I know. It's like an OCD thing. But I think it's weird to share a toothbrush. Like, you're cleaning your teeth with that. And Leah's toothbrush, I'm going to insert a, tooth <laughs> oh, no, a picture don't. of her toothbrush upstairs right now. This is like a week old and she it looks like a fan. It doesn't look like a toothbrush. I feel like, okay, we're not always going to share toothbrushes. But if there's an instance when yours has fallen down the toilet and you need a toothbrush, instead of using your hands, you can use mine. No, I'd rather not. I know that. I know you'd rather not. I just feel like that's a personal hygiene thing that should just stick with the person. I just feel like I want to share everything with you. Leah, Leah, oh my gosh, Leah always steals my drinks and I get so annoyed because she'll drink my drink and I'm like, thanks, can't drink it now. Yeah, let us know if you guys agree because even my mum and my nan, my mum would it. share a drink with my nan and my nan was like, no, I can't share a drink with you. See, me and your nan, yeah. we get on well because we are the same in that sense. Like, yeah. We understand each other in that sense. It's okay for your partner to dance with somebody else, like at a party or a club or something. I know what I want to put this as, but I know what I would really feel inside if it happened. Oh, really? So I want to say agree, mm. but if I see, saw you dance with someone else, especially if it's someone I think or thought was your type, mm. I would probably cry my eyes out and be Aww. really self insecure and they disagree and that's just me being completely honest yeah. i feel like i don't have much self-esteem and i feel like i would be so like 
upset, especially if they're good looking and you fancy mm. them. I'd be like, no, not fancy them. <laughs> if you could, if you appreciated their look, yeah, and then I'm dancing, and they're dancing with them, I'd be like, well, I'm here. Why can't you dance with me? Yeah. See, I feel like it really depends on the situation. Like. Mm. If you're dancing with them for like five minutes and then you're dancing with me for the rest of the night, it's fine. Mm. But like if you're dancing with them, or like they're a friend of a friend, not just yeah. a random stranger. If you're dancing with only them for like ages and it's quite like touchy-feely, I feel like that's crossing the line. Then that would be strongly like, yeah. disagree with like, touchy if feely If it's just like, you know, like normal dancing like, or yeah, like, I don't know, just a bit of fun. Yeah. I feel like that's fine. Yeah. But that's just me being completely honest. And if I think you're being completely honest, I think it would be a disagree really? too. Really? Yeah. See, I wouldn't mind if it was for a few minutes and like they were a friend of a friend. But I guess it's a bit weird. Even when I'm, even if they're trying to hold Connor's hand, you're like, what are you doing? No, it's like, Leah's more bloody affectionate with our best friend than me. <laughs> we'll be sitting on the sofa and she's cuddling Connor. And I'm like, Excuse me. Kaylee <laughs> doesn't like a lot of affection. Like I do. You don't like me smacking your bum. So I smack. Oh Connor's my god. Bum. No. Yeah, that is weird. She smacks Connor's bum, but she I smacks smack. my bum so hard that it hurts. I'm like, calm down. Like if you're gonna smack my bum, do it gently. I feel like in this YouTube video, I've been completely violated. No, yeah. I feel like I've completely <laughs> been violated. Oh my god. So if you did like this. Please do give it a thumbs up because I'm sure we can do more videos where I'm completely violated. And we will see you in another video next week. Bye guys! Bye guys.